what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to do an unboxing video for you guys, mainly because I love watching unboxing videos, especially when I'm trying to do research on what box I actually want to purchase for myself. So I hope that maybe this video can help some of you if you're thinking about purchasing one of these boxes. And many of you guys know that I am moving within the next 30 days. So I have to go online and change my address so that the boxes can be delivered to the new house, but I decided that I get three beauty boxes delivered every single month. I get Birch Box, Ipsy, and Glossy Box, and for the new house, I'm going to go online and forward two of the addresses, and then one of them I'm actually going to cancel. So this is the last month that I will be getting all three, so it's kind of like the battle of the boxes because I'm going to be choosing which one of these three beauty boxes I'm not going to keep up. This does not mean that I won't ever start this box subscription back up again for whichever one I decide to go ahead and nix, but with the move and everything like that, obviously I want to have a little bit more spending cash for some other things rather than more makeup because you guys know I do have quite a bit of beauty products, so maybe I don't need as many. Um, so I'm going to be unboxing all three of those, deciding which one I am actually going to discount continue for now and then I also have a love with food box that I'm going to unbox I also get a bark box every month but I like to unbox that with my dog Teddy and he is still in Tennessee because while my dad and I were on the amazing race my mom was taking care of him and then when I was flying back here I was gonna bring him with me and my mom was like you know what why don't you go ahead get settled you have a lot going on in your life right now you haven't been back in LA for a while you need to kind of like unpack and it's just one less responsibility for you to deal with and then when I come out in a couple weeks to help you pack up and move, I'll bring Teddy with me. So Teddy's not here right now to help me unbox his box, so I'm not gonna unbox the bark box, but that is another box that I get delivered, and that's probably one of my favorite ones because it really does make him happy. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Love With Food box, mainly because I haven't had any breakfast yet, and I'm excited to see what's in this, and then I also think it'll be good to do the three beauty boxes together. So this is my Love With Food box. I got the deluxe one. They also have a taste size one and they have a gluten-free version. I know a lot of people are gluten-free because of allergies or just by choice. I actually happen to kind of maybe love gluten, um, so I did not get the gluten-free version, but it's nice to know that they do have that available. So I'm just going to go ahead and rip this open. My favorite thing about this box is that every time Love With Food ships out a box, they donate a meal to the hungry. So they've donated almost 700,000 meals to the hungry. So so every time I get my box in the mail, I just feel like I'm doing a little bit of good for the world and it feels good, you know? So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we have. So one box, two meals. You helped buy Hunger in America. You made a difference. We love you. And so I think that's really cute. So I guess when you get the deluxe box, you're actually giving two meals, which is really, really awesome. The pamphlet in here for this month says love is kind and then you can go through and see all of the treats that you have in the box. I don't like to read this first because I like to kind of be surprised with what I'm pulling out of my box. Another really great thing is if you get any of these snacks that you really like and you want more, you can go online and you get free shipping to order larger quantities of them. So the first thing I have in here is the Power O's Chocolate Delicious and Nutritious cereal, love grown foods. So wow, this is bean, chocolate bean cereal. I'm very interested. I actually, okay, I have to taste this right now. Like this is interesting. It's beans. It says beans are nutritious food with many health benefits. Our power O's are a great way to power up your day with beans for breakfast. It's got uh, navy beans, lentils, and go garbanzo beans. So let's see what this tastes like. I won't lie, this is not something I would typically purchase um, just because, well, beans in my cereal for breakfast does not sound great. Mmm, smells like chocolate cereal, but. Okay, that doesn't taste like beans at all. This is actually really good. Okay, so somehow the chocolate beans do not taste like beans. It actually tastes like a chocolate cereal. And this is something that I think would be really good. They're very crunchy. I feel like when you put them in milk, they might soften up a little bit. Um, but oh my goodness. Okay, that's surprisingly really good. I also got 
the gluten-free vegan nuts about almond butter energy balls so I have two of those um, one's nuts about almonds one's nuts about cashew pecan then I got a breakfast cookie mini peanut butter I also got the breakfast cookie mini double chocolate I also got this doodad this is the original uh, smoked pork snack stick. Then I got some wafers. I also got a dark chocolate almond coconut bar. I got milk cho chocolate with praline. I got these are sea salt handmade caramel. Um, and then I got some bags of chips. I am so excited about this. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to say. There are also lots of coupons at the bottom of the box for these items. <gasps> Baked mac and cheese puffs. What? Do not mind if I do. They gave me two of these. I shall try this right now. Okay. These are absolutely amazing. I also got rosemary truffle gourmet popcorn. I got some sweet corn whole grain chips. I got some jalapeno whole grain chips and a ton of coupons for some of these items. I also got a $100 wine voucher from nakedwines.com. So this box definitely did not disappoint. My love with food boxes never disappoint, but this one is a really good month. So this is definitely not a box that I am thinking about discontinuing. I will be keeping this box. It's an amazing way to try some guilt-free snacks. I also have some friends over at Love With Food and they're awesome. They are willing to give you guys a 40% off your first box code so you can actually get your first box for only $5.99 and you can get 50% off a gluten-free box so I think that's really awesome I will have links to everything down in the bottom bar below again this is definitely one of my favorite boxes I love that when it arrives you know that a meal has gone to someone that is hungry and that just really makes my heart just feel happy. Now I'm gonna go on over to my beauty boxes. The first one is more like a beauty bag. So this is my Ipsy bag. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this. So every month it comes with a different little bag and I guess this is this month's. I also wanna say, these are the last boxes that I have had delivered from these companies. I don't know if that means that this is like the January Ipsy or if technically my January one hasn't come yet and this is December's. I'm not exactly sure, but it is the last one that I have had delivered. Um, at the time that I'm filming this. So this is my Ipsy for this month and it's a cute little red quilted bag. Inside I have some floral water makeup remover and I like that it's a little baby size mainly because when I travel the things that I get in my monthly boxes are more or less the items that I like to travel with. So I have a little baby makeup remover. I also have a Model Co. Illusion Lip Liner. So I don't know what Illusion Lip Liner means because I feel like most lip liners give you the illusion of bigger lips. So maybe this is like extra illusionating, if that is a word. But this is in a, looks like hot pink color that looks really pretty. It doesn't seem to have a shade on it. It just has this little hot pink cap at the end, but I will try that out. I also got a cell stimulating face facial mask, Argan Stim Cell Plus Chlorella Growth Factor. So it says apply evenly all over face until you look like a green sea monster. Allow to set for 10 to 15 minutes. Rinse thoroughly to a refreshed and renewed you. So I really like that. I love when companies say things like, I mean, I've never seen a company say until you look like a green sea monster, but when they're funny with their packaging and cute, I really enjoy that. The next item that I got is the Power of Love Natural Lipstick. This is 100% vegan by Pacifica. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this and see what shade I got. Oh, this looks like a nice, just kind of, almost it, almost has kind of like a burnt orange with a little bit of mauve in it, but I could see this being a really great color for lots of different skin tones. And when you order these boxes a lot of times, obviously, tons of different people are getting these products, so they try to put products that are pretty universal in here. Um, the last thing I got is a Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. Next, I'm going to open up my Birchbox. 
So, let's see what I have in this. I love how Birchbox boxes always look. Like, the actual box in and of themselves are always so cute. So, I'm opening this one up. And it looks like I got five products in this one as well. One of them is a Coastal Scents eyeshadow sampler. One of them is about uh, How About Them Apples Cheek and Lip Cream from The Balm. And okay, that's actually really, really cute. So this one is, I guess, called Apple Pie. There are lots of different ones you can see over in the side. They have different shades. Um, they have apple cider, apple cobbler, apple crisp, apple caramel, apple candy, and apple pie. And I got apple pie, so that looks really cute. And I like how lightweight and just like easy this would be to throw in your purse. I also got the L'Oreal Mythic Oil Hair Mask. I need to do a hair mask, so that will be a nice for me to try. I got the Amica Amica Shield Style Extending Spray. So it says protect, maintain, extend for all hair types. So I'm assuming that this is like a hairspray. And then I got the Avene Hydrants Optimal. Birchbox loves to give this brand's product, the Eau Thermal Avene. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I get samples from this brand all the time in Birchbox. So far, out of these two, I would have to say that I probably prefer my Ipsy over my Birchbox of this month and looking kind of back onto Previous months, I would have to say that's kind of the consensus every month. If I only had to invest in one, I would probably get Ipsy over Birchbox. And I'm probably going to regret saying that because maybe next month's like Birchbox will be so much better than Ipsy's. But now I'm going to open my glossy box, which tends to be my favorite beauty box of the month. So I have a feeling that this one's going to stay, but let's just see what we got. So this looks like it is the holiday box, which means that my January box has not arrived yet because this is technically, obviously, the December box. So I'm just gonna open this on up. And the only thing I don't like about glossy boxes is they're full of these little paper straggly things that get everywhere all the time. Okay, so in here. First things first, I got a full-size MTJ High Definition Mascara. So I actually, ooh, I like this brush. This is nice. I actually need a new mascara, so that's why I went ahead and opened this one. Most of the time when I get mascaras, I don't actually open them until I'm ready to use them, but I need a new one as of like days ago. So I went ahead and opened this and I will try this out tomorrow. Then I got the Coconut Simple Sugars. Okay, I'm pretty sure Simple Sugars was on Shark Tank. I might have just made that up, but I'm pretty sure that this is the company that was on Shark Tank. Handmade all natural body scrub. You can never have enough shower products or like body scrub or bath products. Like I feel like I could have a hoard and a stash of like a billion of these and I would still never turn a new one down. Um, okay, so this is an eyeshadow glossy mauve um, that is shattered and broken. So that's actually pretty unfortunate because it's broken and it kind of has started to even like leak out of the packaging. So, you know, that's kind of a point down for glossy box right now. Then, ooh, I love this color. So this is a Color Club nail polish. This is in feverish and this is kind of that dark burgundy wine color that I am absolutely obsessed with. So I might actually paint my nails with this today because I need to do my nails. There's one more product. It is a label gold lipstick and I'm just gonna go ahead and take this outer packaging off so I can see what shade I got. So, ooh, okay. This looks like a color that I will actually wear like every single day. How's it look? I don't know. I don't know how that goes with the colors that I already had on, um, but this is the type of shade that I would really, really enjoy. So, 
I think I have to say that I really enjoy the way Glossy Box gives you full size products um, and if I had to pick between Ipsy and Birchbox I think I'm going to go ahead and put my Birchbox on hold. I might restart it once I get settled into the new house and stuff but for now I think I'm going to take a couple months off of my Birchbox but if you guys have any boxes that you absolutely love go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out all the links down there and if you guys have been keeping up with my live video series, I have another live video coming up soon. So don't forget to keep checking back on Twitter to make sure that you know what time that will be. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.